the man no no yep i don't know if you could hear me now i decided to remove the bluetooth speaker i guess this is very better off now Yeah, we're back now. Yeah, now can you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, yo. Um, yes, I'll be your host for today. So let's get this started. Could you just like introduce yourself, to us, you know? Oh, my name is Bobby. Uh, I have okay. a mecca in my name, but I don't really like it. So. <laughs> it's just why exactly? Why? <laughs> I, I why don't you? Know, why don't you go with Ebeka? They are so promiscuous and they like <laughs> to float around. That that's not me. <laughs> Anyways, we'll come back to that. So this is much much later in the life, you know. Um, yes, like you know, this is so cornicha, and uh, we're celebrating each and every one of us. And this, uh, it's your own time. Okay. And yes, you told us about your name, but we don't know your village so far, oh. and uh, like what you do, what you do for a living, you know, everything. Just okay, give us a little bit breakdown to that. You only ask me for my name, you don't ask me where I'm from. Well, I'm from Onitsha. I'm from Umudei. Uh, ah, Umudei. Hey. <laughs> Kondimu. Yeah, okay. What? Okay. And, well, I was playing football, but now I'm studying law at base. Law, um, okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice because because going through the antecedents, we've seen that um, your father is a lawyer, your elder sister is a lawyer, so law kind of like revolves around. So we initially oh, wanted to ask, you. yes, we initially wanted to ask, why did you why did you choose uh, football instead of law? Oh, and yes. well, luckily, first you just all, told us now you study law. First of all, because I had the talent, like I okay. played and I saw people clapping. And I was scoring too many goals, so <clears throat> okay. It was nice. And then, um, so you know. okay, can you just tell us like uh, the clubs you've played for and the journey so far? Oh, has been? okay, I've played for that's good club. Oh, sorry, someone just asked. Uh, <laughs> sorry, someone just asked your marital status too. <laughs> I'm, I'm so <laughs> single, bro. Everybody knows oh, that. Ladies, so only on each other. Um, is so single, so you could start <laughs> applying immediately. Okay, I'll play for Morning Star as my grassroots clubs. Okay. And I played for Anamba United. Oh, cool. I played good, for Without Tables. Then I played for Spartak in yeah. Europe, that's in Serbia. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's, whoa, that's really, really impressive. That's really impressive. Can you just tell us, like, the years so far? Because a whole lot of us here do not, do not, do not know. We just want to start from that standing point. We just want to know the years, like the year you played for Nigeria, uh, oh, when you retired. I played, I, I'm not retired, bro. I'm not that old. <laughs> I played, Oh, uh, well, I played in the other 17, like 2009, and I played 2013 on the 20. Um, well, I played the Spartak in 2015. Well, okay. I won the highest goal star in Nigerian League. So, oh, uh, oh, oh that's that. good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Please, my friends are having problems in the comment. Hadimon is my guy. The Sharon is my guy. 
You know, okay. He doesn't like to call me a carpenter because I am not a carpenter. Had the money one time, you know, with my guy. Had <laughs> the money with the baller, so. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And the, and like um Lindsay Sharon just asked, who is this Benz? So I guess you've got, oh, you've got a connection to that. So Adi Benz is my is my G. You know. Oh okay. He's had the money Good. one time. He's a baller. Good. Good. Okay, okay. Now back to business. You know, um we're yet to celebrate on each other. And you being a forerunner in the sports industry and the sporting world, um, you could tell us one or two things that we are lacking here in Onitsha. Uh, in terms of sport development, um, so far, so far, I think off the top of my head, I could randomly tell you that of Alex Iwobi playing for Hello? Yeah, yeah we have that of Alex. Yeah, we have that of Alex. He will be playing for Everton. We have the Chuba, um, we have the Abel Abapong, uh, who is into, you know, who is far away in Bahrain, representing the country of Bahrain. And, you know, it's a big um, talent drain <laughs> on the side of Nigeria, then Onichas, as, you know, narrowing it down to on each other this way. So, like, you guys who have been far ahead, like, what would you say in terms of sport development in on each other or in Nigeria, per se? What, what would I say is what? I didn't get it. Yeah, what would you say? What would you say is the problem with sport development in on each other and uh, Nigeria, per se? Okay, well, Sorry, can you hear I, think the, I can. Well, I think the problem okay. is if we, first of all, we have to acknowledge we have a problem. Secondly, there's something called the helm, you know, like in a ship, people that um, control the ship, they are the helm of the control. So we have to change people controlling our sports. First of all, then we will get to our problem. You can't have a non sportsman, a non sports lover controlling it. There's no way they will give their, you know, <laughs> there's no way they okay. will give their all to that. Okay. So I think that's the problem. First of all, we have to check the people managing it and at the helm of things. That's it. Okay, Nkoli just asked, she said, but none of them remember they are from Nigeria, yet alone on each other. Why, this, why, do you think, like, why do you think that happens? You know, like when some of our on each indigenous gets all the way to maybe Europe or some other Sena client and, um, well, well on each other becomes, becomes a thing of the past. Coming to Alex Iwobi, I don't think... Um, okay. He can remember on the chair because he was never in on the chair. He was never in Nigeria. He never grew up here. You get. So, who else did you call? Ebele. Ebele Abapuan. Ebele Abapuan was actually in Nigeria. And today yeah. she's answering Nasir something. I, I, I just really can't place the names. Well, I think that's because of, you know, it, it's a criteria for. If she's going to run for another country, she has to answer her name. And I think she remembers Nigeria because she comes back home to her house and she lives around. And yes, yes. Know. But Alex Iwobi can be blamed because he never grew up here. He can't say about um, The other girl. She, she comes back, she stays. Me too, I don't think she abandoned, you know. But you know, when people get greener pastures, they tend to like remember people that made them who they are, not people that maybe in some places ignored them, didn't help them, 
didn't, you know, believe in them. You know, it's very hard for you to say, oh, because I'm from Nigeria, I have to go, you know, show I'm a Nigerian. They okay. didn't believe in you, you know. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm currently going through some of the comments here. And I want to pick up a question or two. I guess I guess your people here, yeah, like they really want to expose you. Lindsay says, at the catch cruise, forget. If you talk, you collect to. Exactly, give away. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Um, Kelvin and Nairobi says Emmanuel Opala used to be uh, used to be the first goal in Nigeria and Onitsha, but he wasn't celebrated. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Who? who okay. And Nairobi Kelvin says Emmanuel Opala used to be the f used to be the first goal in Nigeria and Onitsha, but wasn't celebrated. Yeah, but Man, I guess for me, I really think the Onitsha people, like the Rudy Chase and all those people in their ego cabinet, I, I don't really think they see sport as a good thing. They get okay, they, I don't think they like sport, so there's no way they can. The people that will celebrate him is not really us because I have to know him. This name you called, I don't even know who this person is. You get? But okay. it's, it's for them to show appreciation and, you know, like other villages do, but I don't think they're the people. Actually, okay, I would love to ask. I would love to ask. I would love to ask. You know, we're just here Everything we are doing here is just to change the tides. Like, how do you think we could actually re revamp the uh, sport industry in, in on each other? How do you think we could okay. play a major role, you know? Going back to where I think we should appoint people that actually like the sports, that are actually sports people, people that actually have passion for it, first of all, because they are the people that will want to introduce so many things and have empathy for like past sports people and want to grow it, you get like some things baffle me, you know, it's like you see like a field like our emoji, you come there and see that it's totally empty every day for like seven days a week. You know, people that actually play are old men, like the all stars people that are like football, they are like football, they are played football, which is fastest. Even the new, the new boys don't play football anymore. Before, when I was young, if you leave a field, I'm going to jump into that field and play football. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Hello. Hello? Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I can hear you. Uh, yes. So, where was that? Where did you hear us? You talked about old men coming to take the stead of uh, uh, the youths. Yes, so I said, these old men have more passion for football. When we are younger, if we see an empty field, rest assured we're going to be in that field, we're going to play. But now, every guy see this field, no young boys, nobody. They have no passion. They have no encouragement. So Exactly. I think, this, I think encouragement should be it. Okay. Yeah. So my own solution is, first of all, to appoint people that really like the sport, that really want their life. I just saw someone that joined Abadai Wushiku, at least he tried exactly. to make sure we had a sporting event. 
you know. Exactly. So he exactly. did try not to be biased, but like my dad, he he really likes it and he has a passion for it. He puts okay. his money and time and stuff that I wouldn't put. All I have is a talent, you know. I know how to score. I will score. You know, that's what you said. I you, you wouldn't put the money. You wouldn't put the money. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that for the people because I think they are ungrateful. The people Whoa. that are supposed. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. I do. Actually, so. Seems like you've got some ugly experiences, you know. Yeah, no, I have. You know, experiences doesn't have to be from you, man. It, your experience can be my teacher. You get. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. I'm trying to like charge this phone. Oh, okay. Okay. Manager, thanks. So we're seeing your questions. We'll get back to them soon. Okay. Maybe it was one. Are you with us now? Sorry, he's trying to charge his phone. So, it's a little breaking transmission there. Hello? Hello? Okay, yes, Hello. we're back now. Mm -hmm. so you were talking about right. experiences. You were talking about experiences. Yeah, and um, I was asking, I was asking if you had an ugly experience that made you uh, resolute with what you just said now. Yeah, I've seen other people's experiences and I think... On it, I shout in Chimo. Chimo, why won't you sponsor us? Because of uh, monthly experiences, Vicon. <laughs> Can you find me, Lee, Vicon? Oh my God. You have a channel in the bank? Yeah, I do. Please, can I share a little? Because your phone is not a channel. Oh, you're yeah. listening? Oh, yeah. I can share that. Are you settled now? Wait, I am not. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find somewhere to charge my phone because my phone is not the same. Man. Oh, okay, okay. Onicha, please drop your questions. We're going to get back to you. Yes, he has to explain these experiences exactly. This one's good. No, it's not working. Which one is not working? Back soon. Um. Oh, oh, better off now. Yeah, yes, we can hear oh, you. Oh, I had to go outside. I had to go outside. Tell me to charge the phone. Eh? Yeah, I'm looking for it Come on. because I'm out. Yeah, I'm somewhere. I'm okay. Somewhere. Okay. So, okay. Um, so, what else? What, what other questions do you want to ask? Yes, Onicha is asking you should share those experiences to us, those ugly experiences that made you, um, you know, okay. say what you like, said. Like our yeah. EMOV that they built, mm -hmm. they built it, they, 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 they grasped it, it was grass, you know, it was standard, they had stands. And mm -hmm. it was nice, you know. 
we played a tournament which they picked so many players that we went to Turkey for it. But now it's total stand and they use it for burial ceremonies and stuff like that. So you see, that is so bad. Okay. So poor this is okay, so poor management one. Yes. It's not poor management. Management, poor management means I'm actually managing something, but I'm managing it poorly. You get? But total disregard of sport and football and a field is a totally different thing. Like, these people don't like football. They don't like sports. They change the field into a ceremonial place where people eat hockey and play all those music with kokonkom drums, you know, kokonkom drum and say, oh, you know, I'm not something like that, you know, and bottles. Mm -hmm. How can you even play in a place that they put canopies and stuff? You cannot play that, man. You can break your leg. You can fall and hit your face on the ground where there are bottles and bones. Me, personally, I wouldn't play in that kind of field ever in my life. Well, it's so appalling. It's so appalling, but... Um, yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, but I, but, but I strongly feel that that's where experts like you should actually step in to um, inform our people and tell them that what they're actually doing is actually wrong, you know? And yeah. in a way, build up the sports industry there in Onitra. Right? I, I think, I think, I think, I think it's an avenue. I think it's a window for like experts, like you know, to just come in and I don't help know us about out. Being an, I don't know about being an expert, but all I know is that um, yeah, at least you've been in the game for a long time. So yes, you know, <laughs> compared to before us, you can, before you can change something. You have to like be in the room where decisions are made. You just like saying you are an expert in something that you want to change Nigeria, and you are not in Aso Rock. You are not in the National Assembly. You can't change nothing. You're just gonna be making noise. You get. So you have to be okay. in a room where people are willing to listen to you to be able to change whatever. You get. Do we have like do we have like a sport administration in like in Onitsha or something like um yes like a like a sport administration in Imobi something like anyone who's like in charge of sports there who could actually give us a listening ear something like that. That's a problem. I don't know who is in charge of sports, but it's something we have to but see here yeah, for 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 people to like do what they did to the field and to our stadium, you get, those people don't want to listen, believe me. All they want is other titles that you pay some couple of millions and just go there and start going round and round. For the record, I think Ozo is like the most boring shit ever. Like, the last Ozo... Are I you for real? Uncles, they were going round and round for like an hour. I got busy. And I wasn't even in the circle. So... Imagine if I was there going round around. But I guess you were not in our last live section, which we had around six thirty. Maybe, maybe you would have um, had a different view to this. No, 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 no. There's no different view for me. Also, is the most boring thing ever. Well, I could barely hear you. I could barely hear you. So, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, better off now. Yes. Okay, I just want to ask. I just want to ask. Is there like a confederation of um, Onitsha indigenous who are involved in sports? Anyone that you are aware of, or like if there's a planned um, association, something like that, where Onitsha indigenous who are involved in sports could actually come together and um, you know come and contribute something down to Onitsha, even if it has to do, even if it has to be something like a foundation. You know, where we could yeah, discover talents, where we could discover talents. 
I think that Abada guy did it. Yeah, oh, Abada is oh, doing a wonderful job. Yes. And then I also they should kudos to him. I know what's up. You get. He is someone that already has a passion for it. So if they cannot go through him, who else are they gonna go through? Are, are they picking who to go through from? I think they should go through Abada and see what's up. And secondly, our village matches are going wrong. Okay, can you imagine if not for the Abada guy? They wouldn't have played the village match. It's not nice at all. Uh, and I, and I, you know, I, I guess they don't really take it so serious. They think, man, these people are just putting themselves. Are you for real? Because I've got a lot of people who travel all the way from um, even Abuja just to participate in in the village matches. You know. It's not about the participation, it's, it's about if it's going to hold. Okay, if not for the Abada guy, would you have... Okay, have you ever heard in the history of the village matches that they are only... that they played only uh, eight teams? Mm. Have you heard that? Mm. Okay, I think I think I'll just put my answers by the corner first. <laughs> no, why could be your answer is a direct question. Have you ever heard that? This is the first time. Whether you answer yes or no, it doesn't change it doesn't change the fact. The fact Okay, is, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. Um but what what Abada did uh just this asking? last year. Yes, what Abada did just this last year actually like up the game. Up the game, you know, took the game to another level. And it it brought more awareness, no, 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 which sorry, sorry. when have they yes. ever played eight people, eight teams? Like when it has never happened. This is the only year it has happened. Oh. Uh, well, this is where we want people like you who are like you know, like you've seen the lapses involved, and you could actually come in to contribute um, your own quarter, you know. And um, yeah, make a difference. Uh, how? First of all, we we talked about um, uh, a union of onitra indigens who are involved in sports. If mm. there is a union like that, where uh, people who have been involved over years come together and um, discuss about ways yes, forward, discovering talents in onitra. Sorry. They already have so many unions and groups that do football stuff in Onitsha. And yet, it didn't change the fact. They already have people that are doing it. So you wanting to create more unions and more groups is just creating more groups, actually. You get? Okay, can you tell us one or two unions of that? Like... I want to know the unions like that are involved in this. One, that Abada Foundation is one. Okay. The All Stars Onitra Foundation is two. Okay. The Adult League Union people is three. And what else? Then my dad was also so invested in stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, yes. And yet, they still did what they did. And now they are building a police station right in the field. Like, how would you do that? Okay, where are they going to park their cars? How are they going to assess the field? Because it's already enclosed by a fence. So you're going to drive through the field. A police station, you can't come every morning and come and play football in a police station. You get so that means they don't want football at all. Even our stadium, which, by the way, is named like after my granddad, it is total trash. It's not even nice to play football in. I don't know about the sprinters or people that run, you know. I don't know how they see the track. I've not been there in ages, you know. So... On it, I just makes football and sports weird, I think. So the question is not how, what I think, is what, what, what can be changed? Are they willing to change? 
Okay, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, let's say Abada did not do the village match thing and he didn't hold. Will they be sorry and angry and sad that, oh, hey, he didn't hold. Oh, people will be sad, people will be angry, they will be uproar. No, they don't care. Abada did it because he knew that people would be angry, sad. He cared, but they don't care if it's going to hold. Actually, they don't even want it to hold. They want you all to go and sit down and not to watch any match and not play anything. All they want is that other thing, that other women's phone that they wear the first, and the other one, yes. And you know, burial. You have to do some burial and play your book. So, my, I don't know, my opinion is, I, I don't know what my, I don't know if my opinion really counts, but my own is that they, first of all, they need to put people that actually care about this kind of things. You get, if they don't care, about stuff like that. It can never work. You get. Uh, okay, okay. It's just like, it is, it's just like this of like, religion. Okay. <laughs> this thing called girl is like, tackling. <laughs> it's just like, in the case of religion, if the okay. Caliphate, which is like, the Muslim people, and the ISIS people, you cannot just come and start telling the Moses said, or Genesis said, or Corinthians 2, 1. Man, they don't care about these things. Oh, you're just making noise, man. They don't cut your tongue off for making noise. They don't care. You only talk to people that care. It's just like a Muslim, too, coming to a Catholic church and start saying that Muhammad said. These people don't care about what Muhammad said. You get So first of all, okay. you have to okay. keep your head when the body will follow suit. That's my own. Sorry, 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 I didn't get that. First of all, you have to change the what? The head. Okay, you have to change the head. Hmm. For the body to follow. Uh, hey, Kevin and Nairobi said, Bobby, you, Bobby, no kill us, no kill us. This is like oh. you're spitting out a whole lot of truth here for us. Like, yeah, this is, I, this I, is I just too much truth. This is just too much truth. This is just too much truth. Be cool, be cool. known for spitting truth. Like I am, be cool. <laughs> No, we, we wouldn't let it die, but I think the people are actually like fed up because most people I knew before that had the passion, even in the village mad time, they are always calling me, even if I'm not in each other, they're always like, won't you come and play? This time around, they Can you hear me now? You know, yes, yes. Hello? Yes, I yes, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Maybe to write maybe to write a petition to them and the Emo people to say Brilliant, really brilliant. Like you are doing to our yes. We really yes. To do this and to talk to our representatives in the House of Assembly. House of brilliant, Rams, brilliant idea. Yes. Know, yes. Say, Dude, our sports is dying. And you know sports is what so so many poor people use as a a how do I put it? Like a stepping stone or how to come out of poverty, you know. Okay, like okay. The the path they follow, you know. They use their talent to become better people in the world. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, I think that is what we should do. Write a petition. We should show anger that we don't want this. Brilliant. We don't like this. Nobody is showing that they don't like it. Everybody is just yeah. like, oh, they are building a police system. Okay. Um, we should show. But if only me, if I should come out, okay, if you go to Facebook and Instagram, my dad is always writing every time how these people disregarded and discard, discarded 
all the money he pumps into this field to become a very good field because I played in so many fields and and when I played in that Ibo view when it was like grass, it was really nice. You know, it was so cool. It, it, it seemed as if we were playing abroad. They okay. Put okay. Blood lines. We played at night at Imodi, first mm. TV screen on each other. So many places in Nigeria they've not played at night. It's only few yeah. Premier League clubs in Nigeria like Aimba, Rivers United, formerly mm -hmm. Dolphins, you know, Kotakot and Aquaribon, you know, all these big cities that are played at night. But I can say proudly that we played at night in Onitra. Okay. You know, but to disregard something like that. Sorry, sorry, and that was what year? What this is what this is what year was that? What year was that? Uh, we played 2013. Okay. So this whole degrade, you know, this whole downward slope happened roughly it was eight years, you know. So. Yes, it did. We went down. Okay, and we had like Anambra United was a state club, but wasn't sponsored by the government. So it was. But this punish people didn't rally behind it you get and that is how it went the way it went because i could remember one day we went to play 3sc shooting stars against us at ibadan almost it took us 30 minutes to for our boss to get from the gate to the stadium Whoa. and this gate was like from here to here it's not even up to 100 yards but the crowd that came to watch and they were filled, like the stadium was filled. So people were outside. And this was just a normal Nigerian league match. There was no Messi there, no Ronaldo. But I can remember one day we were playing on each other against like Alpha United. I came late that day because sometimes I come late, you know. <laughs> and as I was coming to the stadium, I could hear some people saying, in Igbo, you know, with that kind of mentality, there's no way we can ever grow. And you know how much it was? It was like 1k or 500. I can't really remember. It is nothing, it's not even up to three bottles of beer that they drink daily. You get so. Um, I think, first of all, the change will start with us. Not because when those people see we are disgusted with this, then they will change. But when mm. they see that people like this also more, I guess the network there. I guess the network, uh, we just have to hold on a little while. <sighs> I guess Bobby has gone offline. Uh, let me just try and... Let me try getting back up. So waiting for him to join. Um, we could drop our questions as regards to all he's saying. It's just a sad one. Uh, sporting on each other is really, really downgraded. It's just a sad one. Uh, we give kudos to what Abadai Wuchuku has been doing over time. It's just a terrific job. It's wonderful. Uh, but more needs to be done. More needs to be done. Calling him. The boy who could just drop our questions too, you know. Maybe his phone has gone off. I 
I think his phone is dead. I think his phone is dead. Oh, uh, I think his phone is dead. Well, I guess this should be the end of our live session today. It's, it was quite interactive. At the same time, uh, lots of questions have been asked. Yeah. I started I started this live video with my mood up there, but on hearing all he has said, it's well, it's a good one anyways. The truth has to be told anyways. Um, so uh, we give kudos to everyone who participated in our live sections, those who dropped uh, comments, questions, joined in. Big ups to you. Dalu no. Catch you for.